all right welcome to another class uh with uh, mathematsoft uh, so this is our second class on partial fraction and uh, in this class uh, we want to actually look at uh, different types of uh, partial fractions and how you may actually deal with the splitting in the previous class we have actually done introduction to partial fractions tracing it from uh, algebraic uh, fractions so uh, in this class, I want to begin with uh, a definition, something that we can actually carve out from that last class. So we say partial fraction, okay, partial fractions, they are fractions used for the decomposition of a rational expression. So practically, I've shown you that in the last class. So for those who will miss that class, so please uh, kindly check uh, the class and I will try to actually drop the link. In this uh, video so in the comment section you will see the link to the first class so when an algebra expression is split into a sum of two or more rational expressions then each part is called a partial fraction so in the previous class I told you it's just like taking a log of wood log of wood and then you will you split into parts okay so these parts that you split into, okay, they are the one that we call partial fractions. Partial fractions. And this is a single, this is a single rational fraction, okay? So you can actually uh, relate with this. So hence, basically, it is the reverse of the addition of rational expressions. So I showed you in the previous class that it's just like you saying 1 plus 2 uh, plus 3 over 5, okay? So in the normal algebra, what we know is for us to actually add uh, something like this. I'm just showing you like a fraction. But let me, let me write it like an algebra, just the same way I did in the previous uh, class. So it's just like saying x over, uh, let's say, 2 x plus 4 then the now say plus um, 1 over x minus 2 so in the normal algebra uh, fractions this is what we normally do we can sum up so let's say the answer that we have here is now a over you know let's say 2 bracket x plus 2 okay x minus 2 that's what that will result to x minus 2 so this uh a perhaps because we have x or anything whatsoever so just like taking a single fraction like this taking this single fraction splitting it into parts that is what partial fraction is so all these i've actually explained in the previous video i'm just trying to actually review that so that <clears throat> you can be in the same page with me in this video so let's look at uh, different types of uh, uh, partial fractions of course, I'm not going to be using a big grammars the way you will see some of the textbooks referring to them. But I just wanted to focus on the denominators. The denominators of the partial fractions or of the fractions actually indicates how we may actually do the splitting. So focus on the denominator. When you focus on the nature of the denominator and you know the characteristics or the nature of the denominator of the fraction then you will know what splitting you are doing. So it's not necessary for you to actually cram the types. The types is just for us to actually show you, you know, how you may deal with different, you know, or, uh, different fractions when you are splitting them into their partial fractions, looking at the nature of the denominator. So let me uh, take, for instance, let's say we have uh, the one that we call linear factor, but don't let me call it linear factor, just a linear denominator. When you look at the denominator, Okay, I just want you to understand it with simple term. So just focus on the denominator. When you look at the nature of the denominator, if it's actually linear, then you will know how to do the splitting. Let me give you an example. E.g., if we have 1 over x minus 2, x plus 1. Now, we basically understand what we mean by linear. So when we say linear, it means that the power of the variable in the expression the power is actually what one so this is a linear expression in as much the power of x which is the unknown here is actually one that's a linear so when you look at the nature of your denominator 
and you see that what they are both linear just like this um look at uh, x minus 2 x minus 2 that we have here is linear x plus 1 is also linear so you will definitely know that okay fine this is a uh, partial fraction splitting that has to do with uh, you know linear denominator so you basically just split this like this that will be a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 1 so because what is linear so when it's linear you split like this let's look at uh, the another category that you may actually have what if we have um, okay factorizable factorizable uh denominator or quadratic factorizable denominator or quadratic denominator in either case that this may actually be so you may have a, so you may have a factorizable uh, denominator okay or better still we can call it factorizable quadratic denominator so why i'm not actually insisting that the denominator may just be only quadratic is because uh, there are some uh, you know denominators that they will give you that you can still what factorize them okay like um okay i've cleaned it i made an example earlier where you could when i was saying 2x minus 4 you can see this can be factorized into x minus 2 basically so you have to first look at the denominator if it's something that you can actually factorize but in most cases under this type the denominator here is actually visually referring to quadratic uh, denominator so when you see a quadratic denominator that you can factorize take for instance okay uh let's say you have uh, s square okay and then you have uh, minus x and then you have minus two so this is a uh, a quadrat the only thing i just did there is just to multiply this i only multiplied it just to show you okay so this you first look at this uh, if we ask we have been asked to actually split this into partial fractional you have to look at this denominator because it's actually quadratic uh expression so you have to first look at it if it's something you can actually what factorize so if it's something that you can factorize then you factorize it and first split it into something like this so i have to factorize this now and get something like this okay before i can now proceed to say oh since it's factorizable i can now say a over x minus 2 plus b over s plus a and then i'm going to solve like uh, i showed you in the previous uh, class so this is what we mean by factorizable uh factor you know many grammar you will see it but don't get yourself confused what it actually means is that when the quadratic you know when the denominator is just is a quadratic expression and you can factorize it then you have to first factorize it before you do the splitting so it's very important for you to actually what focus on that so let's check uh, another third category you may have so let's immediately just say non okay factorize sable quadratic denominator non-factorizable quadratic denominator non-factorizable quadratic de denominator you may have a quadratic uh, denominator let's say 2s square minus 10x okay plus 1 obviously this is this kind of quadratic equation this quadratic expression rather you cannot what factorize it so you have to first look at the quadratic uh, you know the denominator uh, the quadratic expression at the denominator if it cannot be factorized then you should uh, understand that when you are doing the splitting okay you must actually ensure that your numerator that will be on the non-factorizable quadratic expression must be written as a linear expression now this is what i mean so if i'm going to write okay on this now since this is not factorizable and it's quadratic in nature okay 
one thing you must note is that in in uh, algebra fraction the power of the variable must be by one less than okay uh, let, let's put it this way i just want to get in the clearer terms that's what i want to write uh, in west okay i could just practically just show you but i want to write it in west for you to really understand what i'm saying so let me first say it before i actually want to write it so the power of the unknown okay or of the variable in the numerator must be one less than the power at the denominator now this is what i mean if i'm going to separate on this now i'm going to be having something of this of this nature when you look at the power of x in this numerator the power of x here is actually what one when you look at the that's the maximum power of x here is actually what one when you look at the maximum power of x in the denominator is actually what two so this one here this is two here you can see that the difference between the power of the unknown in the numerator and denominator is, is what is one so that's what we mean which means that what the power of no of unknown variable in the denominator must be by one more than its power in the numerator i just hope you understand the way i just broke it down now of course we are still going to solve many questions in this category but just for uh you know your understanding power of unknown variable in the denominator must be by one more than its power in the numerator so look at the power of the unknown in the denominator here is two look at the power of the unknown unknown uh in the numerator is what one so the, the power of the unknown in the denominator here which is two is by one more than the power of the uh unknown in the numerator so when you do two minus one you will see that what one is actually what the difference between them so that's what i actually mean by that i'm still coming back to this uh, table don't get confused with that so let's um uh check number four okay so number four is what happens when we have improper fraction okay what happens when we have improper improper fractions and this actually what comes from the knowledge of uh, what we know with uh, fractions let's say i have 27 over 5 okay how do you write 27 over 5? We we'll say this is an improper fraction. Improper fraction means that what? The numerator is actually what? Bigger than the denominator. So what we normally do is that we we'll say 5. How many times will 5 go in 27? We we'll say 5 times. And then what will be the remainder? The remainder will be what? 2 over 5. Which you can simply write and separate as what? 5 plus 2 over 5. This is actually the same. When you do this, you will get this. So that's the idea we are translating to partial fractions now if i have the power let's say the power that i have uh, okay here plus one the power of the unknown okay what happens when the power of the unknown in the numerator is now greater than in fact it might even be three this might be three. it doesn't necessarily have to be a quadratic what we are just making reference to here is that the power of the unknown variable in the numerator is bigger than that than its power at the denominator so you just see this like you have to relate to this as an improper fraction this is an improper algebraic fraction now so you have to relate with it like that and then you will split it down the way you did this so if i'm going to split this one down now i know that there was there will be an old number just like this five so that old number i don't know what it is i will make it like a and there will be a remainder which is this two so let me make that one to be b 
which is now over denominator and this is the denominator here which will be x minus one so this is how you actually go about splitting the improper fraction down so you have to first use uh, the polynomial division you use polynomial division okay to divide this so that you will know what your quotient is this is the quotient this will be your remainder then over what your divisor okay we are going to solve that in practical question and then you are going to see how it looks like so the last one i will discuss is what uh repeated uh, factor repeated factor repeated factor or let me just write it in simple terms denominator with a specific the uh, power okay so when you have a denominator that has a power let me uh, take an example if you have a 2 over let's say x minus 1 raised to the power of 4 so when you are splitting this down you have to split this power down you have to split this fraction down from the power of 1 okay then next to the power of 2 then next to the power of this as 3 and then you stop on the actual power which is what power of what 4 that's what we call it repeated what factor so i'm going to split this down. i'm going to be having a over x minus 1 first then plus b over x minus 1 now raised to power 2 b is just like what raised to power of what 1 then plus c over x minus 1 raised to the power of 3 then plus d over x minus 1 raised to the power of what 4 okay this is what this we actually what results uh, to that's how you do the splitting so every splitting you want to do you want to deal with is actually in these five categories i've actually what discussed now let's look at this table this table is just showing you how everything can actually be mixed up when you look at this obviously you will see that this fall under linear denominator you can see the way it's been separated uh, this fall under repeated uh, factor you can see we first have x minus a which is like x minus a raised power one then we now have x minus what a raised power two look at this one these are just what repeated uh, these these are just uh, linear factors also these are linear factors so i can have x minus a x minus a x, uh, x minus b x minus c so these are just three linear factors okay or three linear denominators so it's just like uh, this but now it's just three this one is just two why this one is what is three so it's just the same way look at the way this one is being splitted down with r s minus a which is what raised power two you first deal with that s minus a s minus a raised power two and then you pick that one of what s minus b also that will be plus b over s minus b and then when you look at this one this is like a this s square plus b is being treated as a non-factorizable denominator so the factorize the linear factor that is there which is s minus a you first separate that and then because this one the denominator as the correct equation uh, expression rather cannot be factorized then you have to write the numerator to be a linear form which will be bx plus what c so this is just the basic way we deal with different types of uh, partial fractions or different ways we can split down partial fractions based on the nature of their denominator so in the next video we we'll begin to solve questions and you are going to be seeing you know in different categories of how they actually play out with i'm not going to be taking them like maybe this one is a uh, improper this one is linear or anything else. so any questions that will bring we'll see how the splitting is done and i'll be making reference to this video thank you very much if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so share this video and please uh hit the like button god bless you bye